I'd love to meet your hot friends that are gross. <laughs> Do you love it? Jed Anderson, and we're here in Southern California, actually at the Ashbury Emporium. And uh, thanks for asking a lot of questions. There's some funny ones for sure. And the winner, I guess, of who answers the best question is going to get this board, which is called the Salamander. This isn't even what it's going to look like at all, actually. But I don't know. This is kind of a prototype or whatever. There's only four made. And the French guys in, that do Solomon and design everything actually drew two dick tips on the Salamander. So that's pretty cool. And Chris Grenier, it's, this is it's going to be me and Chris Grenier's board. And uh, yeah, he drew this on a napkin. And they just scanned it on. And the base is pretty cool, too, just all different colors. and. Yeah, I don't know. This is what you will win if you asked a great question, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. All right, from Gord, my boy Gord. How cheesy is my dick? It's really cheesy. From Hava, Jed, would you? I would. Hey, Jed, how sick is this board I'm going to win? You're not going to win this board for that question. Why the skinny everything style? Stance, pants, etc. Mm, stance because I don't know. I skateboard a lot, I guess, and it just feels more comfortable that way. Uh, yeah, easier to do tricks. Just feels better for me. And pants. Just I don't know. I'm really short, so if I wore super baggy pants, I just look like a little kid, and I just like the way it looks. I guess. I don't know. I'm fucking emo. This is from Mr. Nar. Uh, why? It pretty much just says, why do you wear a helmet? And I don't, I guess I pretty much always wear a helmet, but just I get a lot of concussions, I guess, and I don't really like waking up in the hospital with tingling face and tingling hands, so, and not really being able to feel my arms, so that's not very fun. And I figure it's just snowboarding, like you're riding a piece of wood. I don't. I'm not trying to, I don't know. I don't really care. Doesn't really matter to me, so pretty much I guess it's a safety reason. Uh, I know a lot of friends, like all my friends don't wear helmets, but when they hit their head, it's pretty mellow, but when I hit my head, I puke and can't feel my face, so. I don't know, it sucks. I've probably got like eight, no, not eight concussions, quite a few concussions. It's always like, the last concussion I got, I was playing around with uh, Jake Olson Elm and I was just trying to get him to soap shoe this picnic table and I just slipped out and smoked the back of my head. I, I wasn't snowboarding or anything and I just started puking and was tingling so I don't know. I always get it doing something that's not even hard like I haven't got hurt trying tricks snowboarding really. It's always carving and then I just catch my edge. I don't wear one skating because I it's weird, on snowboard you can't run out of stuff, you can't hop off and run. <laughs> you just are attached, so whatever way your board wants to go, I guess, you're fucked. <laughs> From Denver, is Cure Dylan better as a snowboarder or an ESPN sideline announcer? Um, <laughs> damn, he's, I liked his front flip things. I don't know what to say to that. From Axiomat. Do you ever miss just riding for fun? That's pretty much all I do every day still, is ride for fun. I have fun filming, so I don't know. I still ride for fun. I don't ride because of anything else. If it wasn't fun anymore, I'd quit. What's your favorite titty? Left titty. <laughs> Jed, are you gay? Would you marry me? My dick is over cheesy, so nice. I'm super gay. I would marry you. I love dick. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. From Sam P. Who is your favorite shredder when, when you started snowboarding? Uh, when I started snowboarding, it was probably Mike Michael Chuck or something, because he was from Calgary. So, But people who, why I think I snowboard the way I do today is probably just all the kids know productions like Love, Hate, and Burning Bridges, everyone in there. And Travis Parker, for sure. 
from Samantha. It says, Jed, I admire you for not drinking or smoking. I'm the same way. Is it hard for you like it is for me when the snowboard industry is absolutely full of drinkers and druggies? I don't really think the industry is full of drinky, drinkers and druggies, but uh, like you'd be surprised of how many people are super mellow and don't. And yeah, so I don't really find it that hard. I mean, a lot of my friends drink and do drugs, but yeah. And says, do you not do drugs because of religion, choice, or just because the guilt it leaves you? Um, I'm not religious, so it's definitely not because of religion. Uh, it's just because of choice. Like, if I wanted to drink, I'd drink. I've just never had the urge. So, who knows? Maybe one day I'll be a drinker. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't really feel like doing that right now, though. And smoking cigarettes, if that's what she's talking about, I just, I can't even, I straight up will say that I think that's retarded, just because a lot of people in my family have had cancer and stuff like that. So I think at this day and age, I, I don't really see the point of starting. But that's just me. If you smoke, that's you. When do you think the war between tight and baggy pants will end? Shit's getting crazy, too much hate. I think it's pretty retarded, like, I don't know. Tight pants, baggy pants, I don't think it matters at all. I'm just as down for people who wear huge pants as people who wear tight pants. I'm probably more down for more people who wear baggy pants, actually, so. I just think wear whatever you're comfortable in and, huh? Oh yeah, Nick Dirks, he recently picked up some uh, Juggalo chinos, so. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't care. Um, some kid asks, what is it like being a cheese dick? It's pretty, it's pretty tight. He claims to have made shirts and give them to only hot girls on campus. And they checked out my blog and loved it. But I don't know if I believe that. And if this is true, you gotta, you gotta somehow get me some pictures of that or something because I'd love to meet your hot friends that are gross. <laughs> If they love, if they love it. Do you love it? <laughs> From Mike, have you and Grandies ever gotten intimate while filming this year? Be honest. Might have given him a few hand jobs. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll tell this story. So we're filming, it's minus, we're in Golden, British Columbia, I don't know. It was super cold out, minus 40. And we're just hitting this down row at a truck stop. And Chris is kind of getting frustrated. I don't even know if he was really, but. Anyways, he disappears for a good 20 minutes to half an hour. And uh, he comes back, and we don't really think much of it. But we're all about to fall asleep at my house. And he just goes, I jacked off at that truck stop today. <laughs> he just fully just jacked off at, in the, on the coldest day in some shitty truck stop porter potty. He said, and then the other weird thing, he's like, yeah, I took a shit, and I wasn't even horny. But I haven't masturbated in like, a week, so I was just like, I'll, I'll do it, I don't care. <laughs> From Nicholas, Family Matters, how, influ how influential has your family been in your snowboard career? Super influential because my brother started snowboarding first, so I just kind of wanted to do whatever my big brother was doing, so I wouldn't have started without him. And they've been super supportive, driving me everywhere until pretty much last year when I got my license, so super grateful to have a family that's down because I know it's pretty hard to succeed in anything if you don't have a strong support group or whatever so yeah and on a scale from one to infinity how much do you love your family infinity I love my family a lot how did the cheese dicks get started and why is Calgary so sick cheese dicks got started because me and my friend Dylan Homer were watching a wet boys it's called a montage on YouTube, it's a skateboard crew, and we just thought we should start something. So that's how that got started. Um, the next one is, who has the best style at Mills? Mills is a skate park in Calgary, by the way. And Pantera has the best style at Mills, or Popeye, some people call them. If you had to choose between two big dicks up your ass or three small ones, which would you choose? Two big ones, for sure. I hear cheese dicks has gotten in between more buns than a hot dog. Is this true? This isn't true at all. <laughs> I don't think any of us are really getting in between any buns. What's the first thing you do in the morning when you wake up, and what's the last thing you do before you go to bed? 
first thing I do when I get up is probably eat or shit. And then the last thing I do is probably probably jack off or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably jack off, whatever. Yo, Jed, you obviously get mad ladies, so what is your favorite way to get rid of the ones that are not so easy on the eyes? I don't really get mad ladies. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really get many girls, so I pretty much take what I can have. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. I mean, I don't know. That's not true. I'm picky, but I don't very really get many girls. All right, so the winner is going to be this kid, Eric Boven. I don't know how to say your name. Sorry, man. Bovenzi, I think. So, and he asked, who has inspired you as a snowboarder? And it's been a bunch of people from family, lots of family members have inspired me. And obviously tons of snowboarders and my friends, musicians, artists, so just from all over the place. It wasn't really one snowboarder who inspired me. It's more of different people who have inspiring stories. And yeah, so that's what inspired me. And this is pretty much why I'm gonna give him the board, is because he said, what do you do when you're not snowboarding to help you not think about it? And I pretty much just skateboard and, yeah, draw and stuff. And he said he can't stop thinking about it. So hopefully, I don't know, this board, I don't really know what to say. Hopefully this makes you more psyched on snowboarding than you already are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. thanks again, guys, for all of the questions. I'm surprised anyone even wrote in. But, yeah, it's awesome. Cheese dicks. Thank <laughs> you.